Hello, my name is Alexi Helakari. I'm the head of technical office uh, at Spirant Communications. AI, new diverse payment methods, high frequency trading, increased attack surfaces are just examples of, of continuously increasing speed of innovation that requires agility from the technology stack and processes to keep up with the rate of change. High level of automation will be key moving forward uh, and technology stack and legacy processes have to change to keep up with those uh, customer expectations and the advancements in technology. In banking sector, traditionally new technologies, services and processes have been uh, tested manually. And uh, this uh, is, is not uh, economical or possible to scale to satisfy the current speed requirements and the demand requirements uh, to, to cope with the new technologies and increasing amount of technology in the banking uh, field. The manual testing is currently slowing down innovation, new technology implementations and new services rollouts to the market leading customers to start looking elsewhere and, and smaller banks sometimes who are a little bit more agile, um, gaining customers from, from larger corporations. A lot of the core changes that need to happen in banking has already been done uh, in other industry segments like telecom, for example. Lots of learning and technologies and processes uh, can be adjusted to also help the banking sector to achieve similar benefits. And we want to be at the core of enabling those successful transformations in the banking sector. I think there will be a big focus to close some of the technical debt uh, that built over the years and, and focus on leveraging automation to adopt new technologies faster uh, in, in banking sector. Eventually, new, more agile, highly automated technology stack uh, will lead into significant process and even organizational changes, but I'm doubtful this will happen this year. Uh, and, and we'll be a little bit further in the future.